First to combined locks, the community is still feeling the impact of one of the largest fires in the town's history that required backup from 67 fire departments across the region. NBC 26's Chris Lemo has the latest on the response to the fire. After over 24 hours, fire crews were finally able to leave the scene of the blaze at the warehouse specialist's building. The fire started at around 10.30 a.m. on Friday morning, and neighbors said they could see it growing rapidly. I went outside and I saw the blaze. It was pretty minor when I first saw it, but there was like quite a bit of smoke. A lot of fire, flames, um, building kind of collapsing. Julie Whalen lives next to the warehouse. She said she's feeling lucky with the way things turned out for her family. She said they're allowed back in their house, but aren't allowed to stay yet until it's deemed safe, which could take up to a week. She shares the same sentiment as her neighbors, thankful for the quick and overwhelming response in the community. I wasn't too concerned since they reacted so fast to the fire and there were so many fire department people out here. The firefighters weren't alone in their battle as the community emergency response team was on the site shortly after the blaze began. They provide food, water, a seating area, and cooling towels to take care of the firefighters. Mark Holfelder has been a part of the response team since the beginning. This is the first time that I've responded in this much time to this big an event. The warehouse contained a lot of recycled paper and other paper products that added the fuel for the fire to grow. According to Outagamie Emergency Management, the fallout from the smoke and ash carried to the Nina Manasha area. The response from the businesses and the individuals in the community again, as in every fire we work, just tremendous. We had people bringing in stuff and uh, we couldn't hardly hand it out fast enough. Now the attention will turn to finding answers about the cause of the fire and the total cost of damages. In Combined Locks, Chris Lemo, NBC 26.